Are ballot buying boxes materialistic? The there's a couple of things. Well, more than a couple of things. I want to talk about. I do send ballot buying boxes myself, and I generally send them to myself with some gifts for the family and stuff in there. Now, the first thing I want to say is when you talk materialistic, a lot of people think iPhone, branded clothing, that sort of thing. But we don't actually send anything like that in our boxes. I sent power tools for uh, the renovations on the house. We send food products. We send bath soaps. We send razors because the ones there's a lot of fake razors in the Philippines, believe it or not. Um, it's all practical stuff. Um, we don't actually send anything that I would class as materialistic. It's all got a purpose. So our boxes. Are a little bit different, you know, a lot. Well, I say a little bit different. Anybody moving to the Philippines does exactly the same as what we do, which is just send boxes ahead. Now, there was a mention of a um, box being ripped apart because it was brought up by MKS rookies. That is a family issue. That is nothing to do with that. There's good and bad families, and let's just say, <coughs> put it another way. That would never happen in my household. Um, I wouldn't know anybody would have enough guts to do that in my household or stupidity. Um, because if it did ever happen in my house, they would quite happily see me give everything else in the next box away to other people that actually deserved it. So that scenario would never happen in my household. It would never happen with my family. Um, but also, my family is nothing like that. When you get people rip things apart and stuff, it's disrespectful. It's a completely different scenario. It's got nothing to do with materialism. It's to do with the, the way that family lives. And I can't say it any other way. If, from a OFW's point of view, an OFW sends stuff home for the family. They send them stuff home. It's sort of tied in with a sense of feeling of gifting something back although they're working miles away from home this is why they'll ask could we have a video or something uh, when people open it and see their gifts it's a bit like a Christmas thing being able to provide when they can't normally provide locally because the wages are crap so that element is probably more to do with a Christmas sort of feeling you know that giving at Christmas time now, the other side of that being, it's not always about the family. I know people that give stuff away to the neighbours, etc. You'll, you'll get like bags of pasta and stuff they'll give to the neighbours because they've got poorer neighbours. It's the same as the Christmas element. The Christmas that we celebrate is very... Well, if you study it in the Philippines, you'll see a lot of it is not about the immediate family. It's often about the whole neighbourhood. It's about being thankful for your good year and sharing that wealth with everybody else um, as such you'll you'll see little baskets in Gasano and whatever it's to give to the neighbors that, that it's an appreciation so when <laughs> the ripping the box part thing I've never seen anybody do that um, I've not heard of anybody do it but I, I did speak to my wife about that and she knows of somebody that she knew from work years ago that had that happen with a relative where it was more a case of well, they didn't rip the box apart it was more like the the, the woman wanted it videoed and each packet because everything's individually wrapped because it's important to the RFW they've worked hard for this um, so each item's individually wrapped, and there's a list of who's, which items going to who, etc., etc. It's all very officially done to the, be the best ability. Um, so I would say it's more to do with providing when you can't normally. I would say it's also about giving something back to those less fortunate. Uh, beyond that, materialistic. I can't really say it's materialistic. I know some people do it materialistically, but is it the majority? I don't think so. It's not a case of sticking in 
the latest Air, Air Jordans or something in there. It's it's more T-shirts for the kids and other bits and pieces. It, it, a lot of the items are not of any value beyond the person that gave it and the person that received it. They're not high-value items. People do not earn high-value salaries. So as such, that's sort of reflected. But you've also got to bear in mind... Would they still do it? I don't think so. Now, the other thing I want to do here is separate this from the Western Union payment stuff because that's another kettle of fish. Ballot buying boxes are gifts. Um, and there may be stuff for the school kids for going to school and bits and pieces. But there, generally there's no high value items in the boxes. There might be the odd phone or stuff, but that's normally they've collected the the old phones um as people renewed the contracts so there'll be like three five phones that are second hand phones basically so they're not high value items but in the philippines they have they they do hold a status you got to remember though that's a little bit materialistic but not to the same level western materialism is to the level of running up huge debts just to feel that you're keeping up with everyone else. This is somebody saying getting a phone from an aunt, an uncle, a sister, a brother, or whatever, that is already second hand. It's not it's not the latest iPhone, it's not the latest gadgets, etc. Um because let's face it, if you can afford the latest gadgets or stuff, they normally hop onto the plane and go to Hong Kong or Singapore, etc. And grab it. They can get it, get it while they're there. Rich people go to Hong Kong shopping. They don't. They ain't bothering with a ballot buying box. It's cheap enough to fly. So you've got to weigh this up. That's not materialism as a whole. This is what I was sort of saying. It is and it isn't because materialism in the West is to a far much more extreme way. Um, I find the Philippines is less complex. It's like schools. You see kids wearing flip-flops. They don't wear Air Jordans. They're not wearing the latest sports shirts. They're generally wearing the basic stuff. When they hit the teens, you know, the 17 plus, they, yeah, they'll start. With, you know, they're playing basketball, or whatever. They want a good pair of basketball boots, etc. But at the same time, if they couldn't get it, would they have a tantrum about it? I don't think so. Um, that's what I can really say on it because. It's not materialistic in the same way as it is in the West. It's the same as the ballot buying gifts are generally not asked for too much. You know, you may hint to somebody, oh, is your phone coming up for a new one? I would love your old phone if, you, if you're getting a new one. But you're not going to say, I want a new phone. <laughs> you know, it's... You know, it's... um. Yeah, it's the only way you describe it. It's it's not as complicated as having a branded shirt or branded shoes or the latest phone or the latest tab or whatever. I wouldn't say it's anywhere near that level. I find a lot of people actually like going to Okai Okai. Now, if you don't know what Okai Okai is, Okai Okai is like second-hand clothing. You'll see the big mounds of clothing on market stalls. And you go through it because the stuff's come from other countries. They're excited because they found something from Jamaica or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But Okai Okai has a lot of... You, you'll find Levi's and stuff down in Okai Okai, even for Westerners. Um, but from the ballot buying point of view, it is a heartfelt thing to receive clothing from overseas. If you've got a shirt that is made in Spain and you got it from, like my wife sent it from Spain, that's got a material, I wouldn't say materialistic, it's heartfelt. Because they're like sort of proud that their friend sent it to them from Spain and it's Spanish. That's, so yeah, it's not materialistic. I think it's more, it's deeper than that. Uh, material materialism and uh, being materialistic is surface it has very low value this is much more than that you know you receive something 
Like, you know, like we opened a box, being a Westerner and opened a box, and somebody sent me a jumper, you just go, ah, oh, that's a nice jumper. But for a Filipino, they'll, go, they'll read the label and go, oh, it's Scandinavian, and they've sent it from Scandinavia. That, you know, that's a big thing, you know. <laughs> so they do appreciate it a bit more than we do sometimes because they see it at a lot deeper level. Um, yeah, that's all I can say on that. So I wouldn't say it's materialism. It's certainly not at the same level it is in the West. It's 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 got a lot of ties to the people purely because of their backgrounds, their financial standing. That this box means a lot. This is why when the customs guys were ripping the boxes off, it become a big thing very quickly with the politicians. Because the one set of people you do not want to upset is the OFWs because they are the breadwinners. They are the people that bring money to the country. So as such, it's not the people to upset because they are the backbone of the economy in many ways. So, yeah, I would say it's not materialistic in the same way. I would say it's far deeper than materialism. It's not just a case of, oh, I've got the latest phone and then like six months later... I've had to get a new phone because there's a new one out. It's not like that. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.